Right, Richie, welcome to Cricket Scotland TV. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good. Just recovered from the last couple of days. Nice to be, nice to be back in Scotland. I can dare say it's been a bit of a whirlwind few days for you. Yeah, obviously, um, it's a bit of a nightmare uh, for myself when we first uh, took off from Birmingham and I got to the airport and realised I forgot my passport. Um, that was a bit of a shock, so I uh, had a bit of a detour on the way there, um, but managed to get there in the end. And then, obviously, from then on, things went pretty well, so I haven't looked back since then, really. Ah, so uh, tell us a, a little bit about your trip over there. You came back up, picked up your passport, headed back down to get your plane, got off the plane, got to the ground and played that innings. Does that, does that sound a bit right? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> trip was a bit longer than it should have been, rather than an hour flight from Birmingham. Um, ended up being quite a few hours travelling, but I say got there, got there eventually, and things went pretty well. So, absolutely. So, um, in in terms of getting off the plane and getting stripped, was it a, a case of just running to the ground and getting in the changing room and getting out in the pitch? Or did you have a bit of time? No, nah, I got there enough time. I got there in the morning. Had a bit of a light training session with the boys. Uh, I went back to the hotel, chilled out for a little bit, and then we came back, back to the ground, and that was us ready to play the game. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Uh, tell us a, a little bit about that innings. Um, did you did you think from the start it, it might be something special? Uh, not really, to be honest. I don't try and look too too far ahead when I bat. Um, I think I just had a game plan to go out there and play my shots, and thankfully it, it came off. You know, I went pretty well. So. Um, so. Uh, when you got out there, um, you, see, you seemed to sort of hit sixes straight away, and to bring up your hundred was a, a, a wonderful shot. Did you you back yourself to, to hit it for six there? Um, to be honest with you, I, I didn't even realise how close I was to hundred. It all seemed to happen pretty quickly. I actually got a bit of a shock when I heard the cheers once I hit that six. I didn't actually realise what had happened, and then it all obviously sort of sunk in. Um, so I, I don't actually remember too much about the innings itself. All just kind of fell into place and went nicely for me. And in terms of uh, the fielding display as well, you must have been pretty proud with that. Yeah, the boys were absolutely excellent. Um, I didn't get on the field myself until about the six over, and at that point, Evo had actually managed to get a, an excellent run out, being on the field for myself. So I actually worked out worked out pretty well. But after that, the boys were just they were brilliant throughout. Preston took a great catch in the boundary, and Gowdy as well. And um, we took all our chances, which you need to do against these sorts of teams. And the boys, the the ball were absolutely fantastic as well. Imagine, imagine Josh were excellent. So. Yeah, um, tell us a bit, of, a little bit about the the emotions at the end once you'd got the the, the win over Bangladesh. Yeah, I think well, we're absolutely ecstatic. Obviously, you know, we we set our sights on that on that game for a while now to try and get a win there. And um, we haven't probably played as as well as we'd have liked over the last couple of weeks. We had a big chat before that and we are really looking forward to it and as I was saying there, everything came off for us so we're absolutely delighted and I think it's only been over the last sort of 12 hours or so that it's all sort of sunk in exactly what's happened so we're obviously pretty happy. It was a, a, a loud flow of Scotland after the game I believe. Yeah, yeah, we enjoyed that one. We've got a nice video of it as well so definitely one to remember. Great, um, for yourself, what, what you got planned for the rest of the season? Um, I think hopefully just finish off the CB40 strongly. Um, I think we've got three games left now. Next game's on Sunday against uh, Glamorgan. So we'll try and pick up a couple of wins, um, try and put in a few good performances and finish finish off the season strongly. Cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, sort of off the pitch when you're not when you're not playing cricket. What would what, you like to do? Uh, I like to chill out, to be honest, as much as possible, try and get away from the game. Um, I'll do a bit of coaching at Greenock as well, uh, so when I'm back home, you know, I'll go down in with the boys and try and do some stuff with them, which is always good fun. Um, and apart from that, you know, I like to be around my family and just chilling out with friends, just kicking back a bit. Great. All right. Well, thanks very much for your time, Richie. No worries. I'll catch you soon. Cheers. Thanks.